in the previous video we saw JSTL tag C out and its syntax. Like scripting and EL, the C out tag also outputs a value to the response page. Not just because JSTL provides tag alternative, JSTL provides security as well. To demonstrate the same, we will create a new example. To JSTL. Here in this new example, to JSTL will create a JSP page. Here we will create a request scoped attribute. And we will set some value here. Now to demonstrate the difference, we will first of all access the attribute using simple EL technique ABC. And thereafter I created a line break and uh, C out tag value attribute. And this time I am using JSTL along with EL. So same attribute ABC we are accessing here. Now before we use JSTL tag, we must include taglib directive java.sun.com JSTL slash core. Now I can show you the response. So now we are ready. And before we run this code, I just want to suffix some characters here. You can see we are able to output the values, but we are not able to understand what is the difference between both of them and how the JSTL is secure. To understand what is the difference and what is the security feature which is provided by JSTL, let's change the value. The attribute value here we are using is a simple string but now I'm going to use a tag value h1 same example but we are going to check the difference between the output just we have to refresh the page and we can see the difference now you can check the difference between the output see I'm showing you the source code in the first case where we are using EL the EL is simply outputting the string attribute value to the response page and that is why when such a response received to the browser browser is treating it as an HTML tag but but when we used cout tag the cout tag is escaping the angular brackets you can see that m percent lt less than m percent gt greater than so the jstl tag c out is escaping the angular brackets with the special characters you can check in the google search by just typing special character in html so before the response is sent to the client in the jstl tag escaped all the angular bracket contained into the attribute value which is just a simple string now the question is how such type of translation creates security in the next video i'll explain the threat caused by simple el and how the el along with jstl helps to overcome the threat see you in next video